Hi, I'm Heather from Heather Handmade, and today I'm going to teach you how to make an easy DIY Elsa t-shirt dress. Um, it's inspired by the jacket that Elsa wears in Frozen 2. So start with a blue dress like this, and we are going to do just a little bit of cutting and sewing. Um, we're going to add white with this um, women's white t-shirt and some sparkly white tulle to make this dress look like Elsa's jacket that she wears with the white dress underneath. And it's really comfortable because it's just a t-shirt dress. Like this video and share it with anyone who wants to learn how to make a really easy DIY dress up that's really fun and really comfortable. The first thing we are going to do is we are going to cut the front of this dress and then cut a white piece to fit in it. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of creating like a faux jacket look where I'm going to take out a section of the front of the dress and I'm going to replace it with a piece of this white um, t-shirt fabric and I want it to be shorter than um, the dress because I want it to look like it's something separate underneath. It's really great using um, a dress and a t-shirt because all of the edges, um, like on the top and the bottom, they're already finished. And when we cut this, you will have a raw edge, but since we're going to be sewing the two fabrics together, then we can finish that edge on the inside. So I'm going to start with the blue dress and I'm going to fold it in half along the center front of the dress. So you have to line up, you know, your seams and like your sleeves and stuff so that you make sure you get the, the exact center front. I'm going to feel this seam in here. So that is the center of that. And then I'm finding the center of the skirt. You can see this is going to be my front and I'm going to slide it so that this is a straight line. Then I'm going to grab my ruler. Now when you're cutting you want it to be a small gap and you have to remember when you're cutting, you're cutting double. So, you know, if you think of one inch, that doesn't seem like it's very big, but it's actually two inches across the front of the dress because it's doubled to the other side. And I don't want to do a four inch gap. I want to do like a three inch gap. So I'm going to cut at one and a half. And my ruler isn't big enough for the front of this dress, so I'm going to have to do it in two different cuts. Now save this small front piece because we are actually going to use it as um, a little belt for the front of the dress. So I'm going to cut off this is the waist seam and this is the hem. I'm gonna cut those off so that we can actually turn this into a belt that can just be sewn to the front of the dress. Next, I'm taking the front of this white t-shirt. We're gonna do the same thing where we fold it in half. Um, I'm matching up the shoulders. And then I'm going to line that up and I am going to cut um, I'm going to also cut three inches from the front of this. Since I'm cutting it the same amount, I'm going to lose a little bit of width in the blue dress since um, I'm not accounting for seam allowance, but the blue dress is a little big for my daughter, so this is a great way to like pull it in a little bit. And then, but if you, if the dress is already really tight on your daughter, 
add a little bit of seam allowance to each side of the white fabric to accommodate for sewing it to the blue dress. So I have this fabric for the front and I want to make it sparkly so I am going to add a little bit of tulle. This is like a sparkly white tulle that I um, bought. Um, it is great. So if you do one layer, I don't think it's actually, well, that's the selvage. The sparkles start a little bit farther in. If you do one layer, it's only a little bit sparkly. So I'm actually going to do, let's see, what does it look like when you do two? So I'm going to do two layers to get it just a little bit extra sparkle um, across that front. So we have this tool that's going to be on the top of this white fabric like this. And what we are going to do is first I'm going to pin this tool in place. And then we're going to pin it to the blue dress. Now with right sides together, I'm going to pin the white piece to the blue one. So as you can see, I've kind of turned it right side out and I'm going to match up this neckline up here with the blue neckline. You can lower it if you uh, prefer. I am just choosing to have it match up at the top and I'm going to pin this Now that this is pinned, I'm going to sew on both sides with just a quarter inch seam allowance. I'm going to use a zigzag on my sewing machine. we have um, the white piece sewn in place then we are going to top stitch on the blue fabric to keep that both seam allowances going um, out and make sure up here at the neckline that you tuck that seam allowance behind the blue and sew that in place so that you don't see it and down here at the bottom where there's um, that extra amount you can tuck that in the same amount as the seam allowance and top stitch that in place. Now we're going to make a little fabric belt um, just to be sewn on the dress just right across to look like Elsa's belt that she has. So I am going to sew this fabric right sides together like this. But before that, I need to figure out how wide I want the belt to be. So with a little bit of seam allowance here and a little bit of seam allowance here, I'm going to cut the rectangle so that it'll fit right there across. Elsa's belt has a little bit of glitter, so I'm gonna use one layer of tulle just on the belt. So I'm gonna cut a piece that's the size of this rectangle. So I have this tulle and the belt, and I'm going to fold it in half right sides together. The tulle is on the inside, so I'm going to pin this Now I'm going to sew across right here and then turn it right side out. So I have this sewn. I did a zigzag so it would stay stretchy. And then I'm going to use this giant um, 
safety pin to turn the fabric right side out. Now I have this tube and I'm going to just fold over each side and pin it to the side of the dress. I'm pinning it to the bodice and not to the skirt. I want it be, to be up on the bodice. And then I'm just going to do a little top stitch in place to keep the belt there. Here is the dress all finished and you can see here's the belt. If you don't like that it's um, up like this, you can just top stitch it in place right here in the other top stitching spot. Um, for now I'm going to leave it open and see how I like it and see if it irritates my daughter. I kind of think when she's wearing it that this is going to be pulled tight and it won't be, it won't look so loose. This is a really easy DIY. Elsa dress from Frozen 2. It's comfortable because it's just a t-shirt dress, but it looks like she's wearing a jacket with a belt and there's um, some fun sparkles to um, inspire your daughter for dress ups and imaginative play.